What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 53. Man, I'm back again, man. I'm back again. Listen, now, I told y'all over and over and over the, 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 the few main things that'll get your head knocked completely off your body in an Alabama state prison. The three main things that I have somebody come for you in a real way, the three main, one, and they in order, they in order, one, cell phones. You can play with, you can play, you can play around all day long. You can mess around all day long. But when it comes to them cell phones, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Man, them cell phones turn mice into men. They'll come for you for that. Two, them homosexuals. Now that you now for many me when I first got to the system out here in Alabama, and for many, many years up into the 2000s, that was the number one thing that you was gonna get stabbed to a floor about. Them punks. Them boys, them sagoonies, them hoos. <laughs> yeah. Somebody will come see about you about one of them. Either either they was going to come see about you because you was messing with theirs. They was going to come see about you because you had one that they want. They was going to come see about you because they wanted you to be one. Some along all them lines. But at, at the end, it was going to be some gay stuff. That was number. That's number two. Number three, money. Now that's universal everywhere. That could be, that could be anywhere. Playing with some money, they gonna come see about you. But believe it or not, it's a far distant three. It's like you got one and two right here. Then you got a, then you got a little stretch. Then three will pop up. Then after three, it's whatever. It could be anything after that. But yeah, one, two, and three. Gonna see about you. And like with one them cell phones, it don't make it don't make a difference who you are or what you're about. Eventually, if it's going the wrong way, eventually if it's going the wrong way, hold on. Okay. Oh, my bad. I, I skipped off for a minute, but now I'm back. Like I say, but if it's going the wrong way, it's going to be problems. But now, once them cell phones came into the system, it wasn't no looking back, y'all. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't no looking back, man. Dudes, dudes had to have it. I know I had to have one. I got transferred one time to a prison that didn't have no phones. They had two prisons in the state of Alabama that didn't have cell phones or nothing. That was Limestone and uh, Easterland. Both of these were considered punishment prisons, uh, especially Easterland. Man, that was a most horrible place that you wanted to see in the state of Alabama as far as prison went. Um, I seen dudes come there, and soon as, as soon as they got off the chain and the handcuffs, they was taken off on the police, taken off on other inmates, taken off on the nearest thing to them, trying to go to lockup and get transferred up out of there. I Man, I've seen some... When I went there, if I wouldn't have been close to going up for parole, that would have been my demo. I would have got down. I would have got down. Well, because, you know, y'all not finna leave me here. Ain't nothing going on, period. Even though I don't smoke cigarettes, I had to have a cell phone. Um, cell phones were a lifeline, man. They were a lifeline. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. You got them phones in. You talking to people that you ain't talked to in a thousand years. You talking to mama, sister, father, grandfather, grandmama, girlfriend, wife, children, sister, brother, uncle, niece, nephew, um, your best partner's cousin, auntie, who went to Dubai and came back and moved in with her nephew because he had an extra dog in the house, cousin. You know, you talking to all them, everybody. And after, imagine if you had, you had your phone for six months, a year, or however long, now all of a sudden something might happen, Bow, your phone get popped. Police get it. You're going to be sick. You're going to be sick. 
so now that's that's and that's saying the police got the phone. Imagine if you had your phone for a long time and somebody done stole it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times that was an issue where dudes would put their phone on the chargers, like all the little prison outlets that was around the block. Dudes charging their phone right there on the wall. They'll, they'll sit right there and have to watch it. Because fools will get your phone and run off. Here it is. You done put your phone on a charger. You walked off to take a shower or go kick it in the cell for a minute or go use the bathroom or go try to check out the TV in the front or at the front TV or the back TV and you come back and your phone gone. Now, a lot of times, unless your partner seen it or somebody that's cool with you or that's down with whatever you down with, dudes ain't finna say nothing, man. They finna clam up and play stupid. They finna go straight penitentiary on you. You know what I'm saying? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, you know? And that's what it's gonna be. Now you mad, now you running around. You in kill mode, you know? The, or imagine <laughs> that now stealing your phone is one thing. But now here it is, a fool done come took your phone. -wee. Now, to me, I, me personally, unless you are real, I don't see how a person can, ain't nobody finna take no phone from me. Ain't nobody finna take nothing from me at all. You feel what I'm saying? Less long, my phone come take it. I mean, you know, literally like what? Let me get that. Man, you don't went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. The skin is tender, man. But I'm not going to let you tenderize it. No, come on, man. I can't even imagine that. I cannot even imagine that. I could imagine I could imagine a, a person leaving my lifeless body on the ground and they took my phone out my cold, dead fingers. I can see that. Because that's the only way it would happen. But just, they just take it because I done got scared because they done drew a knife on me and I done gave it up. No, man, you, man, you stupid, man. You stupid for, for every day of the week, you know? But now, it happens. It happens. And I know it happens because I was a professional phone taker. No, yeah, man. I'm going to tell you, man, what? Man, listen, when the police, when the police took my phone, I took somebody else's phone off the rip because I had a motto. My thing was, man, I'm a gangster. And then what it looked like a gangster walking around with no phone, but you got all these busters, cowards, marks walking around. They got phones. You can see the little plug, the little earpiece, the little ear wire coming out with the, they got the, you know what I'm saying? And they walking around moving. You know, they only phone. And they just laugh. <laughs> what? And you ain't got one. You sitting over in the corner. Mad at the world. Because you ain't got no phone. But this little punk over here who who catch, who, who go to the store and can't even keep his store but got a phone. Man, you crazy. Man, let me get that home skillet. Let me get that home shake. Yeah, off the rip. So now I'm going to that to tell you a story about when I had to go get a dual phone one time. Um, I had just hit the camp. Now, this was in a camp at the time called Elmore. And at the time, this was probably one of the most dangerous prisons in the state of Alabama at the time. Elmore. You wouldn't think it because it's a work camp. It's, it's, it's a camp where people, it's a prison. It's a, when I say camp, I mean prison. In Alabama, they call the prisons camps. But now, it's a prison where the people go outside the gate and go work. They can go work downtown in the city of Montgomery at buildings. They can go all over the place. They got all type of little work crews that, 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 that leave out the prison every day and go work in the free world. It's that type of prison, real small compact, but it was super duper dangerous because they had opened it up to let everybody in. And they let me in. <laughs> So look, when I first get there, my first day, man, I, I'm kicking with the homies, with the locs that was there. And I'm like, cuz, I need a phone. I need a phone. They're like, shoot, man, got no extra, homie. You know, you got to do what you do. I'm like, cuz, y'all know I'm finna get out. Y'all know I'm finna get me a phone. 
So one of my potters say, cuz, look, check this out. One of the one of the best pots to get a phone at is over there in the honor dorm. In the what? In the honor dorm. They got a dorm over to the side where it's the honor dorm. You got to, um, where all the goody two shoes at. I caught, now every prison in the state of Alabama had an honor dorm. I didn't call them honor dorms. I called them, I called them, um, safe zones, hideaways. Cause this where everybody would go to try to hide. Cause couldn't, you know, anybody just walk up in there. You can't walk up in there. They got a desk right there at the front door. And you know, it's like signing in, signing out. You know what I'm saying? If you come there, you try to talk to somebody, you got to stop right there at the door. And the person that sits at the door, you tell them who you want and they'll go get the person and boom, they'll bring them back to the door. You, you can't even stand at the door and hold a conversation. The person that's inside has to go outside and deal with you. Ain't no anybody coming in there. So now, of course, you know, this is the door where you got all the Christians and um, the people, the older people, the majority of, you know, a lot of the whites, they, that's where they run and hide at. Um, it, it is, you know what I'm saying? Is it because every place else is a jungle. And this is this, it's, it's program situated where, you know, they get popcorn on, on movie nights and, you know what I'm saying? It's super duper clean. And you know what I'm saying? At nighttime, you, you, ain't nobody running around off their bed, making noise, jumping, fighting, stabbing, killing, hurting. They ain't doing none of that. None of that. Everybody's respectful, peaceful. Everybody in here catch store almost and come back and they got food, items, everybody eating good at night. You know what I'm saying? A lot of time the wolves, when I call, when I say the wolves, is people who don't live in the door. And the, they come to the windows and just look in. You know, and, and, and it'll put you in the mind of the big bad wolf looking in the brick house at the three little pigs, just looking at them, sweating them to come outside so he could take a bite out of crime. Arr! You know, sweating them. Come on up out of there. Can't get in there and get you, but when I catch you out there, but you can best believe when them clowns come up out of there, be walking around the compound or whatever, they ain't got nothing on them. <laughs> you try to You try to take something from them, is it, it, it's like uh you just practicing because you ain't finna get nothing. Now everybody who live in these dorms ain't no mark though. No, mm -mm, not by far. Everybody who live in the dorm, they ain't no bustles now. You got you got you got you got some you got some killers that moved up in here, but they just moved up in here for you know a laid back environment. But they ain't but they ain't playing the radio neither. They doing they thug thistle, you know, and just doing their thing. So anyway. Uh, one of the partners told me like, man, shoot, man, everybody and their mom over there in the, um, in the honor dorm got a phone, homie. I'm like, for real? I'm like, come on, cuz, let's ride over there for a minute. We go over there. We look, we looking, we looking. I'm looking through the window. Everybody in there just doing their thing, which I, you know, I'm used to seeing it. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. So about a couple of days go by, I found out I had a partner that stayed in there. He was a white dude, but he wasn't like the regular white dude. This was a white dude that growed up around nothing but blacks. Um, he was a disciple. He was a, he was a, yeah, he was a disciple. He grew up around none but blacks. You know what I'm saying? If he talked, you could tell he was cool down by law and he was down with the get down too. You know what I'm saying? He was a straight little gangster, you know, but now he had played his, he had, he had piped it down. He had played his way up into the honor dorm. Like, oh, okay, 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 okay. So I'm telling him one day, I'm like, man, get me up in there, man, get me up in there. He's like, man, Tune, you don't want to live up in there, man. I'm like, no, I don't want to. I say, but now I got to pull a stunt. I'm trying to pull me a quick lick real quick. He like, man, Tune, what you up to, man? I'm like, man, you know I'm going to go in there and take a phone you know, real fast. He like, man, that's you, that you on that? that was, I'm like, yeah, cuz, that's what I'm on, homie. He like, man, he said, i tell you what, I'm going to bring your application. He brought me application. I filled it out. He said, give it to me. I'm going to turn it in. He said, I can expedite it. I can put it on the top stack. Try to get you in there. Let dudes know that you cool. I'm, I know you. I'm like, all right, bet. So he brought me the paperwork. I fill it out. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I get on up in there. I get on up in there. So when I get up in there, it took about, about, another, four, five, about another four, five days for me to get moved in. So I get moved in. Now, 
for real, it ain't really no need for me to unpack because I don't have no plans on staying here. I come to hit it and quit it, you know? But anyway, I'm up in here. I'm sitting around, sitting around. Few dudes in here I know from other prisons and stuff, you know, kick and talk. Well, what's up, Joe? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? Boom. I peep my victim. I peep him. Black dude stayed over there. He way over there against the wall. I don't know him from Adam's cat. I don't know if this dude is 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 a is a is a live wire or if he a buster. I don't know. But see the thing with me, I don't care what he is. He could be a killer monsoon. He could have been Hulk. Anybody. I don't got no picks and chooses, homie. When I go at you, I go at you. I, to me, if you picking and choosing. And all this and that, you know, I kind of looked at that as some coward stuff. If I'm a, if I'm a rob Minnie Mouse, I'm a rob Popeye. You know what I'm saying? If if, if I'm a rob Olive Oil, I'm a rob Brutus. It don't make no difference. When I come for you, I come for you. Whether you tough or whether you weak, it don't make no difference. If you get caught in my crosshairs, I'm pulling that trigger. Simple as that. Win, lose, or draw. May, may the best man win. Gladiator style. Two go in, one come out. You know, so anyway, I peeked the dude. Now, what really made me keen on him is he letting dudes use his phone. So a lot of dudes, that's what they do. They rent their phones out. So he over there, he rent his phone out. He over there got letting dudes use the phone. He rent it out, rent it out, rent it out. I hinted at this story years ago when I first started doing YouTube. I hinted at it. I didn't give it to you in the detail that I'm giving it to you now. I wasn't that good back then with YouTube, and I was just would hit at certain stuff. Now I know how to give it to you in a row, paint the picture so you can really be there with me and really see what's going on. You know, so that's what's going on now. So I'm 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 over on this side. I'm on the top bunk, so I'm standing at the bunk. Now I'm standing at this bunk for a long time watching this cat. I'm stalking him. I'm hawking him. You know what I'm saying? I'm on him. You know what I'm saying? Chicken hawk. Okay. I see one dude squatting down, giving the phone back. He get up and go. Another dude comes squatting down. He giving the phone back. He get up and go. I said, okay, I'm watching. Now I'm watching. I'm heated. When I say I'm heated, yeah, of course. But I'm in prison. I'm always heated though. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I learned. I learned early on. You could be. You could be two feet tall. Like especially out here in Alabama prison. You could be two feet tall. Man, I'm going to pin you to the wall like a Malcolm X poster. Why? Even though I know physically I can destroy you physically, no, I'm not finna waste my time with that because them little dudes going to stab me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, they going to stab me. And rightly so because here it is. They got to even it out. I'm a big old dude. They a little bitty person. So they got to have something to defend themselves with, an equalizer. So I'm like, okay, well, if I adopted them, if you going to stick me, I'm going to stick you. You know what I'm saying? If you say I'm too big to fight, so you're going to stick me. Well, I'm saying you too small to fight, so I'm going to stick you. Yeah, straight like that. So I'm watching this cat. I'm watching him. Watching him. I said, you know what? That's, it, it's time to go. It's time for me to hit my lick. It's nighttime, too. It's nighttime. I ease down the back wall. When I'm easing down the back wall, I had a... Uh, I had a little partner that was in there, dude named Four Five. He was a disciple. Now I forget where Four Five was from. So when I'm easing past, I don't even pay the Four Five sitting on the top bunk with one of his partners. They talking. So I'm easing by. I'm easing by. I'm easing by. Looking. I'm easing by. Four Five like two man. What's up, homie? I'm like shh. He like man, what? Because they back there on the phone. They so like man, what man? What you up to? What you doing? I'm... Shh. They like, man, Toon, man, you, man, you the bruh. Now, now, the, the, the max, the, 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 the maximum security prison is like West Jefferson, St. Clair and all that. So when I, here I come, they, you know what I'm saying? They know I ain't been there about, about a week. So when I'm easy passing, when I point to what I'm on, they like, man, Toon, you a fool, man. Hey, man, you down here, man, with that guy, with that West Jefferson game, man. You to come down here with that West Jefferson game. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I need, I need me a phone, homie. I, I ain't got no money right now. I need a phone. They like, man, you a fool. I'm like, yeah, watch this. <laughs> so when I hit the wall, I ease, I turn this way. I'm easing down the wall again. I'm easing down the wall now. Now, the dude bump his bed is about this far, is about this far from the wall. Why? I don't know. 
It's a white dude squatted down talking on his phone. Yabba, 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 yabba. He's sitting right there on the bunk with his back to me, uh, looking at something in a magazine or something. So when I ease up, I tap the white dude on his shoulder. I tap him. He turn around and look. I say, I gave him the, shh. Like, uh, he, like look at me like, huh? I politely lean right over him. <laughs> got the phone. Got it. It's mine. I, and he looking like, the dude sitting on the bed don't even notice all this going on. And what made it good, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta pay no money to get the phone unlocked. I ain't got to go through all that unlocking mess. Cause I got the phone and it wasn't locked. Now I got a partner over here in the other dorm. He can unlock it though. You know what I'm saying? You can unlock them phones. They got a four-digit security code. You just go through one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one, two, three, five. And you look, you might go through uh one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six. And then you work it. It take all night because you hitting every number till you hit it. It's a lot of very different variations, but they, they got dudes that do it. They got that type of patience. I done had that type of patience. I done took phones and went back and made the dude give me the code. Man, unlock this phone, homie. Huh? Man, what's the code, fool? What's the code? And make them give me the code. Man, I ran across some real bustles. But anyway, when I get the phone, I, I make a C-line, you know, Straight back to my bed. I pass the phone off to another dude real quick. Wop. The reason why I pass the phone off is because I'm, 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 if I'm finna fight, get a knife fight or a regular fight or whatever, I don't want him to get this phone back. You know what I'm saying? It, it defeats the purpose. So I done passed the phone off. The phone gone. I'm standing at the bed. So now I'm, now I'm waiting for the repercussions. I'm waiting on the comeback. Yeah, come on back with it. Yeah, whatever it's going to be, what it's going to be. Come on back with it. So now I'm looking, I see the dude squatting down, tell him, and then point over there at me. So the dude sitting on the bucky turn and look. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Here he come. He say, hey, man, whoa, 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 man, I need my phone back. Whoa, I can get no phone back, homie. You ain't get no phone back. Man, what you doing? You, you tell me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't get no phone back. You ain't get no phone. He jet. He come back. Believe it or not, blow my wig back with a little itty bitty short Mexican dude. They was barely even in the prison system. Where he found that one at, I don't even know. He come back with a little short Mexican dude. That, that pissed me off. That kicked my Cali junk up right there. So I'm like, I'm like, what's up, cuz? What you, what you brought this fool back for? So the little Mexican dude just standing there. I don't even know if he understood what I was saying. So he like my phone, man. You ain't getting nothing back, homie. You ain't you ain't getting no phone back. The dude leave. He went to another dude that I was cool with. The dude come back. He like tune, man. Come on, man. The dude named Big Papa, man. Real big fat black dude, man. But he was cool. Big Papa, man. Tune, man. Come on, man. Man, you down here with that West Jefferson stuff, man. Come on, man. This is a laid back spot. I said I need a phone, homie. You ain't getting nothing back. I said you might well go on back, sit on your bunk, and finish talking on your phone. Cause he ain't getting nothing back. That's on crap. Now, once I said that, Big Papa, no, oh, ain't no need for me to keep on talking. Tune ain't doing nothing now. He ain't coming up off spit. You know, he done put it on the game. That's it. So, boom, dude, come back again. Da 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 da. Boom. I come up with the heat, showing man, man, if you ain't ready to do this and do that, da da da. Go down through there. I talk bad to him. Fool, you know, he ain't getting nothing back. So the dude leave. Buster never come back. Now, granted, I didn't go to bed none that night. I lay, I stayed up like a hawk. One eye open, watched that fool like a hawk. <laughs> Bang. The next day when the yard opened up, took the phone to another block with my partner, left the phone over there, came back. Dude done told on me, ended up getting kicked out, getting up, getting moved. He got, they got me up out there. I give a day. Cause when I, I was finna leave the door, man, I was finna quit the program anyway. I got my phone now. I don't want to be over here with you cowards. I'm going over here to the jungle where it go down at, you know? And that's what I did. But stuff like that used to happen all the time, man. All the time, man. You know what I'm saying? You got heart, <clears throat> you're going to have your phone. You ain't got no heart, don't get no phone because somebody with heart going to take your phone. Straight up. Anyway, man, I want to tell that little quick thing, quick thing right there. Mine and me, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. 
Man, tell the ones you love, you love them. Keep your head on the swivel. And don't never forget, homie. I represent the gangsters. The Avalon gangsters. I'm out. Peace. Gangster Book. 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 Gangster Book